Namibia. Welcome to another edition of The Tribe where we hit the right notes. My name is Shea Olenga and this week on The Tribe we love Namibian artists and all their efforts. From the music to their performances and even better when they build a brand that is recognized as the number one African brand in the land of the brave. I'm talking about Mshasho Baby plus a comeback we never saw coming. After her hiatus, Mpo Munyai, better known as Lovey, is back with her new single titled I Forgive You. You are about to hear it all right here on The Tribe, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello, hello, this is King Tidi. Catch The Tribe on One Africa. Otherwise, Pakamish. Salute. Welcome back to The Tribe on One Africa TV. In 2007, King TD released his fourth studio album titled Mshasho, You Can't Ignore. At the time, we just wanted to jam to the hits, but the true message was that the fire brand Mshasho is everywhere, and till today, you still can't ignore. So much so that it's been recognized as, again, the number one African brand in the land of the brave. And to tell us all about it, King TD is in the building. Yes, I'm in hey, the building. Hey, hey. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great um, in this weather of COVID. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But you've been you've been balanced quite well throughout COVID, ne? Yeah, I have to. You see, uh, even if I'm not balanced, I don't have to show it. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, you I just want to tell you that we ate you at the roast. Just, yeah. just admit. I don't, know. I don't think you did because I think I did you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I did you guys. <laughs> now, we know King TD's story. We know how you started. We know what you stand for. But then you gave birth to Mshasho. Mm -hmm. It was a baby that you just, I don't even know where it came from. And I want to know what was the inspiration behind the brand. How did it all begin? You see, I had uh, my first record label was a, a ghetto records, which uh, the name that I gave to the record label that uh, sponsored, I mean, that uh, did our first album where me and Gaza was. Mm. Yeah, uh, but um, because the record label wasn't really, I think our first album that we did, we didn't get no money from it. I mm. think we were selling, selling about 5,000 units. Mm. Uh, me alone, not getting anything. We perform shows, not getting anything. So we decided, ah, bro, let's just create our own. Yeah. So that's where Mshashi was mm. born in that time. There was 50 Cent. 50 Cent used to carry shotgun. Yeah. At that time when it came out as a unit, but they used to yeah. carry shotgun. So uh, as a young kid, you know, as a boy, you know, uh, you all get uh, fascinated by guns. So you feel like yeah. it's, it's, this is a hero. You know, he's got muscle in his body. Like, okay. You know, as a fan, so I decided, like, uh, why can't I just call my record label Mshasho? Mshasho, you know, Shwambo means uh, a shotgun, yeah. so which was 50 cents just to carry. And today is going strong. Like, imagine, and this yeah. is just something yeah. that, so that you fell in love with. 17, 18 years later. Yeah, 17, 18 years later. Because it was created in 2003. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. 2003 to, to today. It also, is. the <laughs> most consistent brand of all time. I remember rocking my first Mshasho t-shirt, then it was 3545 five, Mshasho. It turned into Pakamish Mshasho. Now it's also just still standing. No, pa Pakami, Pakamish is a different brand. Okay, so that's an, an entity Pakamish is a own. different brand. Okay. It's like a... Coca-Cola. Yeah. It's got Pepsi, it's got what what is got yeah, what like Louis Vuitton, it's yeah. got uh, uh, um, DKNY. Yeah, all these kind of brands. You see. So Mshasho <laughs> is the main one, then we've got others and we've got uh, yeah. Doof and we've got uh, Mad Monkey and we've got all the uh, but right. Mshasho is a is the a umbrella. It's the umbrella. Yeah. Uh, May twenty twenty they announced that Mshasho is one of the biggest brands in the land of the brave, actually mm. standing at number one. Mm. Hearing this, the, what you gave birth to in two thousand three. How I, could, did that make I couldn't you feel? believe it because you see, um, uh, especially when I saw the lineup, mm. you see, it's big companies, companies that have so much money. Especially when it comes to marketing, they can make sure that all the roads that you you drive, mm. you are just seeing their brands. Mm. You see, but for me, uh, 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 the difference between me and them, uh, uh, I'm bigger than them on social media. Mm. You see, and social media is cheaper. Mm. You see, social media is cheaper, so I've, uh, everybody has a phone nowadays. Uh, little kids, I don't think they have time even to watch billboards nowadays. Mm, I think they're just, they're just on the phone, mm. driving. They are here and Waze Mshasho, here. Exactly, see, here. you see, even uh, I'll say newspapers still, nobody reads newspaper nowadays. Few of them read, but uh, marketing is on social media, so I took that chance. And um, yeah, mm. and pl plus also, mm. I would say, Maybe why well, now they make the thing popular thing was how they criticize them, Shasho. Yeah. Ah, you see, because it's this brand that uh, comes up with the, the innovative, you know. So they sometimes when something isn't that quality, they, they, they end up talking about it. And for me, it gives me 
good marketing that I need. Yes. It's, it's marketing. The more you Everything speak about is, it. The more you speak about it. Otherwise, if you don't speak about it, it's nothing. Uh, because exactly. when, when the parents used to tell us, no, don't stop following this Nshasha business, then we're like, why is she selling us? No, let's go buy a t-shirt. <laughs> let's go do the things. I think, you know, it, you know I, I'll say thanks to, 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 to them too. <laughs> yeah, because it, 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 it added fire on the, uh, yes. on, on the brand. But... Uh, would you then say that the fans played a very big part in pushing the brand, yes, establishing that? Yes, they did. And, and, yeah. the, and the brand is it grew, grew into, into that it doesn't need music anymore to, 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 to sell. Yeah. So in the, in, if you see a lot of artists, you see like uh, uh, my, the person that, uh, that, uh, that inspired Mshasha, Fiji Unit, yeah. doesn't sell anymore because you know his music went down. Yeah. But Mshasha music, I mean, uh, the music is still up. But you know, I stopped doing music five yeah. years ago. Yes. This is five years ago that yeah. I haven't really done music, but the brand is still going strong. You see, so. Absolutely. And I must say that even at some point, you know, uh, the brand powered King TD and King TD. No, no, not really. I just took a break. You see, uh, I wanted to concentrate and push the brand. You see, uh, it used to be sold at Antonio's. Yes. And I didn't like how they were doing things. They'll put Mshash mm. uh, on a Levi uh, jean, yes. they put it on a swapper thing, or yeah. they put it on the. You see, now there was no identity there. So I decided, okay, let me stop the music. I can't do things yeah. at once. Let me just concentrate on pushing this, and I push it into street house, and I push it into other retailers, you know, created quality stuff. You can see here, this is quality, it's exactly just what I'm talking about. I mean, if the dog quality. is wearing it, <laughs> you don't even need to tell us it's, it's quality. quality, it could be from and, paper, but the dog is wearing it, that's enough. And, 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 and that break of mine, you know, got a lot of also uh, uh, artists in Africa uh, uh, recognizing the brand, you know, so some of them will say, one of them was Casper Nuvez who started this brand, yeah. uh, inspired by Mshasho, yeah. you see, and um, it's quite a lot of uh, a lot of artists that you know that always call me. Oh, how did you do it? How did you do? It? How yeah. did? You do it? I just wish one day I break it into the African market and probably I own this building like this, all of it. Only please don't fire only me when you own the building. <laughs> I still want to give my only job. Just, only just uh, clothing only. See, yeah, you just give the us the cl- yeah. I will wear that's every a, day. That, that, that's yes. a dream, but that dream will need now money and investments. So, so yeah, and you've so got I'm already work, training. You're uh, gonna work on yeah, it. Right? I'm, I'm working you got on that. This. Yeah, I'm working on now it. you are really living a good life. This brand, and you are an example of that. And what people have also seen, investors and organizations, is that they can trust you with their brands. And thus, you are the ambassador of the voluntarily med- medical male circumcision. Mm -hmm. the BMMC campaigns. Tell us about what it's been like for you working with Namibian men and talking to Namibian men and women and spreading the message of of, of hygiene and personal care and our health. Um, It was was great and still great. You see, Mm -hmm. I'm still an ambassador until today. Mm -hmm. Um, You see, most of this thing, a lot of people think I get approached. Everything that I've done, I think there was lots of stories in media. It's me that sit around and write proposals and go to... Mm -hmm. Companies, uh, boardroom. Mm. This is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna do. If it's rejected, it's rejected. If it's not rejected, we move. Mm. So when they accepted mine, I was very happy. You see, mm. I was very happy working with the uh, with the government, with the U.S. embassy. Uh, you know, so that time I wasn't circumcised. You see, mm. uh, uh, that's how the proposal started. You see, when I was doing HIV projects, they told me. I mean, when they give me information, I'm like, why can I? Pu- why should I push information? Mm, telling people, I, mm, I'm not even, even done. Myself, For years, mm, I was like, ah, no, let me. Let you me. can. You've got to practice what you preach. And then all of a sudden, my wife started just telling me a little bit, you know, please, uh, you know, like, Baba. Mm. You see, when you're a guy, you'll be like, ah, what is she talking about? Uh-huh. Where did she see? It? Where did she see? It? <laughs> Tell us about. <laughs> see, so uh, when I told them that I wasn't um, circumcised, yeah, they took. They say, okay, you are the right person that we need, and uh, all that. And here, you know, five years later, or six, I uh, know, four years later, yeah. it's history, you see. Chasso. Nuka. Pakamis. Pakamis. Mmm, mmm. Yeah.
Johnny, olha e disse Eles tão gostosos, eu disse Xé, então pula moço E ele disse, se eu quiser pular Eu disse, pula moço Olha o toque, olha o toque Eu é, pula E ele disse, ai dama Se eu quiser pular Então pula Pula Olha o toque, olha o toque Olha o toque, eu é Last year we missed out on the annual King TD09 concert due to COVID-19. Will you bless us? Um, since we now know what this COVID-19 situation is, mm. we kind of got some type of a control over how we move. Will you give us something for this year? What can we look forward to? Yes, the, the, the show is on. Mm. Uh, last year we couldn't uh, uh, do it because of, 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 of COVID, although we're still in COVID, but now COVID also just made us think differently of how we can host shows, how can, do in the, you see, you have to watch other people doing that in, uh, ahead of you for mm. you to, uh, to do something. But uh, we are really on this year. Um, as you've seen me on, on, on my social media, uh, the whole show was taken over by Standard Bank, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, was a struggle for me when I started. When I started, a lot of people were, were laughing at me when I said I wanted to fill up a stadium just like Casper did. You see me, I like being inspired. Mm. When they say I can't do it, I want to do it. Mm. If you can't sell this, I want to sell it. Don't you tell see. him he can't do it because he will <laughs> kill us. Uh, when I started, uh, when I pitched the idea to Tatebute, I was sitting with Tatebute, I think it was in just the day after Christmas. We said that, that, that this place, somewhere they're watching Sam Numa Stadium, and I was like, uh, I want to fill up this stadium. Everybody started laughing at me. Ah, you can do it. Maybe you can do it. Maybe in the Rundu. That's why more fans are like, okay. This gives me a concept how that concept of changing my name came into, into mm. play. 
for me to get everybody in the stadium. Mm. And when we started, all the all the sponsors said no, they don't want to be part of that. Mm. All the sponsors from whoever that you can think is is, is what they said no. So what I did is uh, I tried to sell tickets on time. You see, uh, I'll give I'll sell it to a bar and say, okay, guys, uh, buy hundred. Uh, uh, Tickets and then I'll pay, I'll pay at your at and your bar. Yes. We'll do all the promotions. We'll mm. do it. So all these guys started. And I mean, they ended up buying over seven thousand tickets mm. before the show. Like maybe a month or two months before the show. When I announced that, and the corporate world head that I've I've I've, I've, I've sold. sold. Out, you see, because the money that I got from that, I, get, I paid the, the stadium, yeah. I paid the the sound men, I paid uh, almost everybody. So they only came in later. Even the second year, after seeing 20,000 people in the stadium, they still said no, yeah. but I didn't stop. I just did this, applied the same thing. And now, yes, now they, they, we've got uh, Standard Bank on board, and uh, mm -hmm. so we're announcing the partnership on, uh, on, uh, mm -hmm. on uh, um, March the days, 1st. March 1st. Yes. So uh, I think everybody that uh, is being told that you can't do it, you see, um, when they say, we don't want you at our show. Create your own. Amen. You see, and a lot of artists, whether whoever who's big in Namibia, yeah. wanna perform at that show. Yeah, it's Please, true. They will call you, say, "Please." Even I'm like, you don't even need to pay me. I'm like, hey. like, TD, <laughs> please. You see, let me come through. You see, you see, I like. They say, uh, really don't follow the money. If it was somebody, could, at the first show, we made a loss. A lot of people will say, ah, it was full, it was what we made the loss, but that taught us what to do. Next, and, and do the, it right. The next one, we did yeah. it right. Yeah. And this one, we're going to do it right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people will follow the money, but they say, if you're passionate about something, uh, let it be cameraman, money will come in later. Mm. You see, when we started, money didn't come in the first, the first year. Mm. Came in maybe after, maybe 2010, after you've released all hot albums, mm. you see. And also, we didn't know what to do with the money that time, you see. Mm. Awesome. Girls around, <laughs> party non-stop, all this. But now you see, uh, you get to learn from the past. Okay, a lot of, I don't have a manager. I used to have, and uh, I told a lot of people that I've, uh, most of them have let them go because they're not, not doing what I, I wanted them to mm. do. Mm. So, and now when I, I've let all the managers go, mm. I'm now Everything doing well. seems to just fall in nice. You understand? Because a lot of people, they, they become lazy when they say, a lot of artists become lazy when they trust too much managers, mm. you see. Uh, sometimes managers have got his own well-paying job. For you just, maybe just to answer a call for a show. For me, I don't need shows. I need to do other things that all other artists are doing. Yeah. Get, get involved in the real business of... Yeah, of, sit of, at of, the table yourself. Exactly, and work yes. with also uh, international artists, you see, if you want to be head in Africa. Because for you to be in South Africa, you need to work with somebody from South Africa. Yes. For, if you, I did a song with a... With a Diamond Platinum, yeah. which everybody was laughing what, what, without even knowing the history of how we decided mm. to do the song. Mm. Yeah, so um, my collaboration with him got a lot of people to know me in Tanzania. Mm. Got a lot of people now wanting to buy Mshasho mm. clothing. Can you send me all that? You see, if you lose on that avenue, you're winning on this avenue. Absolutely. You see, so just don't be like, yeah. Absolutely. And I like it when they laugh at me. Hey. But I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm Listen, the boss, yeah. we saw yesterday or the day before on your social media you were posing in front of a Porsche. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was just a photo shoot. No, it was just a, no, it, oh. that, that picture was of last year. Oh. That was last year's picture. It's just a friend of mine that bought a car. Oh. Uh, you see, I can't really invest money into, into cars right now. Exactly. I need to, I need my, you see, mm. uh, when my music is done, Maybe I'd rather buy Porsches for my kids. I must say. You see, I must invest in something like this. I know that. Say. I've got this few properties, so I'm happy for myself. Yeah. You didn't leave me hanging. Hey. Muraki, we love you. We've always loved you. And I think even more, we've loved the Mshasho brand so much more. And we carry you with so much pride. And I think the audience understands now that when you own something as Namibians, we need to be extremely proud of it and push it so that everybody else can hear about us and know about us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much yeah. and thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank yeah, you. Salute. No, thank you very much. Yeah. Head on over to social media. Check out Mshasho on all your social media platforms. Visit the shop and get yourself some gear. Even I feel like left out.